Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from tarotforhealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your monthly astrological reading for the month of June, Taurus. So I'm going to be doing this reading slightly differently. You guys know I always add something new to my readings month to month. So what I'm doing this month is I'm going to be using playing cards. And these playing cards I'm using because um I, uh, well my great great grandma she used to read playing cards and so I kind of have been connecting more with her energy and stuff like that and so it's almost like in way of sort of paying homage to her <laughs> I am using the playing cards this month and I really enjoy them so you probably will see them again um, when it comes to your monthly reading so what I've been doing is I use the playing cards as like a more general reading to sort of see what's coming up for the month and then when I get into the specific areas of your life I use the tarot or illuminati cards so um your playing cards are the four of clubs the queen of hearts the five of hearts and the eight of diamonds so what I'm seeing here for you guys is that I almost get this feeling when I look at these cards of somebody who is moving house, potentially. Um, it's something about, like, I feel like this is a message connected with the home or connecting with family. And what I'm kind of seeing here is that you may have really wanted to reach out to family members, people that you love. Maybe even these are people that you either live with or people that's just a part of your immediate family and such. Um, but there definitely is this sort of emotional connection relationship between you and these other people. And um, But I'm kind of feeling like there's been some kind of disappointment when it comes to this relationship. Something has sort of gone awry and... Um, you might be uh, mourning the loss of a situation, the loss of a relationship with somebody else, or the loss of a um of somebody that was a part of the family. And so it doesn't necessarily mean somebody is like passing away or anything like that. It doesn't have to mean that. Um, but it just I'm just sort of seeing a sense of disappointment when it comes to something to do with a fam to a family or a home. And so it to me it's sort of the first message that came through is about somebody that could potentially have wanted to move home and then they're finding that it's not happening or something has been messed up in that sort of area of things but then what I see is that you're going to be trying again there's two it's like the two ways it could be coming through it's like there was a disappointment and you've you, like this might have been in uh, like the second disappointment or the third disappointment like this is a situation that has some kind of repeated pattern about it so it could be saying that maybe um, you've tried to move home a number of times, but it just hasn't happened for you. And so that is where the disappointment can be coming through. Or it could be a case of, again, it could be maybe the first disappointment, but you're, tr you're, you're not going to let it deter you. Like you're going to keep on trying again. And so, um, that's kind of what I'm seeing, um, in these cards. There is some sense of loss, but there's some sense of trying again, and there is some kind of repeated pattern about all of this that is happening. And I think that you're feeling maybe a bit vulnerable emotionally in the month of um, June as well. And um, that might be something that you're going to have to deal with, because that might be a different kind of energy for you. Um, and I feel like it's, I think the reason why this disappointment might really affect you on an emotional level can be because of the fact that you have this again there's this emotional situation that is taking place between you and a home situation and I'm not surprised because you know Taurus you're all about that kind of stuff because you know you're ruled by Venus as well and Venus is like loves sort of um you know beautiful things but then because you're earth sign um things that are physical mean a lot to you as well especially because you're a Taurus. Taurus sort of like to hoard things too and um and you really again you really value things that are material as well not always in a very superficial way but because i think that that is just um something you you really want stability stability means a lot to you and because of that it's like you um Again, I'm feeling like there was sort of an expectation, um, something that you was hoping for, something that you thought was going to come about, and it could have been, and it seemed positive, but then it's 
changed it's not as positive as it would you would have hoped um it's like if i was to just look at the numbers it's like a change in stability that has been created that has been manifested and so but you're going to be searching for that stability to come back somehow it's like you're not over you're not going to just leave it like that okay so let me get into your tarot cards the first tarot card for you that represents your work situation is the princess of cups so that's an interesting card to show up in a work situation because what i'm kind of seeing here is that it can be speaking of new kind of emotional beginnings when it comes to your work so this can have sort of two ways of kind of being looked at um okay just for clarity i just decided to sort of search for another card um, the other card that came up is the chariot, which is very interesting because it also has sort of a water element to that card because it's ruled by cancer. So again, it's like you definitely have this really emotional kind of side coming through when it comes to like looking at your cards. And so what I'm seeing here is, um, is again, the emo emotional connection you have with your work. The, ch the chariot sort of talks about being very determined, getting through the challenges. It might be... Um, a month where there might be even some surprising happenings that take place when it comes to your work but it's almost like you receive the victory in the end so it is sort of a positive feeling in terms of work it feels like um you are going to feel a greater sense of fulfillment in your work because something is going to come through um that is going to make you feel much better and i don't think it's something that you were expecting to receive but it shows that you have definitely succeeded in your goals so it could be a case of you receive some kind of accolade this month um or acknowledgement of a job well done um or it could even for some people mean an opportunity that appears out of the blue to do something that you maybe really want to do maybe something that sounds exciting it sounds like it's you know right up your alley so you might be wanting to do that and it seems that again you uh if it shows up like that it's like you're not even going to think twice about it you're just probably going to just jump straight on it and just go for it so yeah i feel like there's going to be some positive work developments for you which is nice um when it comes to those of you that are in relationships is the eight of wands the eight of wands again it can be showing like a progression when it comes to a relationship it can mean a celebration in a relationship something that you are hoping for comes through um but what i'm seeing here is almost like it's fast so um it's definitely good news something i'm, de I'm to me i'm really feeling like it's some sort of celebration you somebody might be offering you to go on a trip with them maybe that's your partner offering to go on a trip um or maybe it's even your partner saying that they love you for the first time or it could even be a case of um you you there's some kind of celebration that you guys are having as a couple so for some of you guys it might even be an anniversary um but there's definitely good news good developments showing in terms of your relationships which is really good, Taurus. And when it comes to this, for those of you that are single, you even got the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so I feel like the Ten of Cups is also for those of you that are in relationships because it speaks of families. But then it's interesting that this is the Ten of Cups. And then I had a message talking about the home. Because even though the Ten of Cups is a positive card, it is a Ten card, which can represent a sense of emotional fulfillment, which is sort of the more positive aspect. But then it also can represent the ending of a situation as well. So it could be the ending of a home situation, maybe a home where you had a really nice time uh, um, living and everything. And maybe that's sort of the whole issue that is showing up here in the cards. Um, but then what I'm also seeing is, because it showed up for those of you that are single, um, again, for some of you guys, it could be a case of um, finding support from other people support from people that are around you um that could be like family but that's interesting because it could be maybe there's two separate instances going on maybe again there is a disappointment like i'm seeing in terms of a house or a family situation but then at the same time with the ten of cups showing through it could be saying that don't focus on that disappointment because there are some good things that are also clearly apparent 
and I think those the, 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 what I'm seeing here is that you are going to get support from other people with any challenges that you are going through. Again, it's you in all of your cards. There's this theme of sort of emotions, and so is is um. There are definitely people that you have emotional ties to that really want to support you and really want to be a support system for you. So if you're going through anything that is difficult, know that you can always depend on them to make you feel better and at least not feel alone in whatever you are going through. And um, and even for those of you that are single, the Ten of Cups would still present itself as a positive card. So it can still um, it can mean also meeting somebody as well because it also can be a, a card associated with your hopes things as, as again a sense of emotional fulfillment um and with the rainbow it shows you know a new sense of 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 hope coming through and um so you might for some of you guys you might even be reconnecting with somebody this could be you reconnecting with somebody from the past um, that maybe you have some uh, unfinished business with, because that's also what can how the ten can show up as well. Because if somebody comes back from the past, it can mean that you guys again you have some unfinished business that needs to be sort of brought to a close, and it can be brought to a close in either you know you guys talking it out and this uh, and sort of um coming to a final conclusion about things. So it might be a case of maybe you and this other person may have been having feelings for each other that might have even not been explored. Or it could be a case of again somebody coming back that you emotionally um had this kind of had feelings for and so you get to come back together and sort of reunite um as well. So it could mean that too. So, and then, <laughs> if we didn't have enough, like, cups and water kind of energy, you have the King of Cups. So, the King of Cups can represent a person in your life. I feel that the way, you know, I mentioned about somebody being a support system to you, it could be that it, this person is a water sign that is giving you a, a, that kind of emotional support standing by you. And, um,. This, if it is a person, because, you know, court cards can represent either a person or a situation. If it's a person that kind of has this influence on you, it's almost like this person is teaching you how to come from a more heart-centered space. And it might not be that literally this person is telling you, you need to come from a more heart-centered space. It could just be a case of you, um through life bringing you this person or having this person in your life it's almost like the universe is creating a situation where the two of you had to come together for you to sort of learn how to um maybe be more in tune with your emotions or um giving you an experience that is going to teach you a sense of wisdom or maturity when it comes to your emotions and your feelings and um, again, for a water sign, it's easy for them to just be like that because that's just in their nature. But for an earth sign, that's not so much in your nature. So it could be a case of this person is kind of showing you maybe how to be more sensitive, how to be a bit more vulnerable, how to kind of, um, again, uh, depend on your intuition and sell through. Again, it doesn't have to be a person. This could be a lesson that you're also learning on your own. So you might be actually embracing more of the energy of the king of cups this month and you might be the one that is just just maybe just deciding within yourself and i think that this is going to be just a very natural thing that comes out of you even though it might not necessarily be an energy that you always sort of exude but it's just that you're going to be that person that is just going to be more intuitive and you're going to really follow the direction of your heart, like where your heart wants to lead you. And I can see that in your relationships and I can see that when it comes to your work as well. So again, I think that you're going to be very intuitive in the month of June and your intuition um, is really going to help you with relationships and it's really going to help you when it comes to your work. So I would say if there's any sort of things that you just feel and you can't really explain it it's your intuition basically telling you like yeah like this is what you're supposed to do and i think that you're really going to learn to just trust that feeling much more 
and um yeah so i feel like there are definitely some developments that are going to be taking place for you and it's a, it's going it's a nice energy for you it's also an energy of healing as well sweeping away certain things things washing away that probably just don't need to be there anymore and so um and it could even mean like, the sort of feelings being revived again being brought back as well so or even a person again like i said coming back so i'll see you guys peace and blessings to you bye